What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. These are an unreleased pair of Tiempo Legend 10 Elites in a special edition gold colorway. Now, I don't know too much about these. I just know that they are unreleased and I want to say a huge thank you to Ad Cornerman UK for supplying these for me. They don't come in a box and they are brand new, have not been released. In fact, I don't think they'll be released until like September or October, but they are absolutely gorgeous. And I wanna go through a whole tech spec of the Nike Tampo Legend 10 in this video, and then also explain a little bit of a sneak peek of what the one month review of those original ones that I uh, reviewed a couple weeks ago is now that I've gotten the chance to wear them in games and a little bit more uh, from a durability perspective and in trainings as well. So let's hop into some tech specs of the Tiempo Legend 10 Elite. So these are obviously an incredibly gorgeous, in my in my opinion, these are incredibly beautiful. The typical orange accents for, that you see a lot on those off-white uh, Nikes. So any of the sneaker, any of you sneaker heads out there will recognize this shade of orange, which is a really nice accent color. And then you've got this ombre gold to black on this fly touch plus upper, which is absolutely fantastic. Some the black fly knit, the Tiempo Legend 10 logo on uh, the back, which is super cool. And then you've got that gold again, ombre from gold to black sole plate there as well, which is super, super cool. And then of course, some white accents here and there as well. Very, very beautiful looking football boot in my opinion. So thanks again, Cornerman UK for these. These are absolutely stunning. I'm very excited to start to wear these in training sessions and in games. So the new Tiempo Legend 10 takes over from the Tiempo Legend 9, which was the last K leather Tiempo uh, in essentially what is presumably the future, right? We might not get another K leather Tiempo uh, for a very, very long time, if ever. This is now a newly constructed upper made of Fly Touch Plus engineered leather, which is their synthetic leather. My philosophy around this football boot is basically that the release of the re-release of that CTR 360 Maestri 3 was essentially a ploy from a marketing perspective from Nike to be like, hey guys, you guys loved synthetic leather when we released it back on the CTR, so you're gonna to continue to love it now, which we all do. A lot of us love the CTR line, and I think this is just a modern interpretation of what that CTR could have been for the CTR 4 or 5 or whatever if they had continued that line moving forward. Yes, it does carry the Tiempo name, so it's not kangaroo leather or anything like that, which is a shame that Nike doesn't carry a kangaroo leather boot anymore unless you go over to the Premier, which is a little bit of a lackluster football boot, even if it's super, super comfortable. Um, but for me, the Tiempo in this generation is actually really, really exceptional. And I do enjoy the fit of this boot a lot. I know that it is controversial that it doesn't carry kangaroo leather, but this fly touch upper is absolutely fantastic. And it is very much the new and improved version of what Kangalite used used to be, especially given that it's got way less water retention. I've now worn them in a bunch of different scenarios in rain, on AG, on FG, not obviously this boot, but the uh, original launch colorway for the Women's World Cup, which is still going on right now, and in those beautiful guava ice that guava ice colorway, and those they perform fantastic in wet weather conditions, in dry weather conditions, uh, on AG and in FG so far. And so that's been amazing from this uh, football boot. You've got Flyknit through the lacing system and through this little collar and heel area. As I mentioned in the original review, this carries the same heel counter, a very similar construction heel counter to the Phantom GX, which basically means that you can press this down as much as you want here we go, focus. Uh, so as much as you want. So essentially what, it, what happens with this football boot is they've engineered it so that the external heel counter on the lateral and on the medial side kind of goes like that in a loop. And then there's a hole where they've cut out where the external heel counter used to be in old football boots. What that does is it creates a really one-to-one -one wrap around your Achilles tendon. And I've found that especially in the GX compared to the GT series, a lot of people have 
I've heard way less complaining about blisters uh, from the GX series compared to the GT series. The GT, because of that external heel counter that went all the way in, had a bunch of issues with people who couldn't really handle that predetermined shape. So that's something that I really enjoy about this Tiempo, and the guava ice colorway of this football boot has been an absolute joy to wear in the heel area, and I've had no issues whatsoever, which has been absolutely fantastic. The other thing that has changed about the upper is those pods that you got on the Temple Legend 9 Elite right here on the instep and then of course over on the toe area as well. There are big pods that they've shaved down now so you do get a little bit of a padded sensation for sure but it is much more of a thin leather sensation than it is a padded leather sensation. I know it's synthetic. I know some people are going to be like it, it feels nothing like kangaroo leather and it may not for you but the sensation of these is actually really nice and uh, a, a much more seamless, in my opinion, than the Tiempo Legend 9 Elite, which had a little too much padding for what I'm looking for in a football boot, and so that's really nice. Uh, you do have ACC across the entire upper for some, uh, where the logo is right there, uh, for some extra little grip, and then on the instep here, you've got these little grip elements that genuinely don't really make any difference from a striking perspective. Sure, you could argue that there's a maybe half a percent of difference between this side and this side as far as grip goes when you're in wet weather conditions. Playing in wet weather conditions in the guava ice colorway of this football boot, you really can't tell on the instep versus the uh, lateral part of the football boot. It doesn't really make that much of a difference, but it is a little bit of extra grip uh, that is going to exist there just because uh, they probably it probably makes some bit of a difference, but at least I don't feel it too much. Um, and and obviously you're contacting the ball during a game and training on both sides of the foot. So I guess it's up to you if you are gonna agree with <laughs> agree with that marketing material as well. Um, on the sole plate side, very similar to the Tiempo Legend Nine, it is a similar construction with mostly conical studs and then some bladed studs in the heel area and through the middle here of the forefoot, kind of where the knuckle of your toes is. And then you've got these two cutouts here on the, essentially the ball of your big toe and then the Kind of the meaty part of the end of your big toe and i would say that throughout playing and this is maybe a little hint to the one month review that will be coming out in a couple weeks the the tampa legend 10 you don't really feel these two kind of pressure pressure release points if you will i know that that's what they're marketed towards and potentially the whole point of what these do is that so you don't feel them and there's not a substantial difference and if that's the case they've done an excellent job because i can barely feel these and i've worn these as I said, on two different types of pitches, both FG and AG pitches. And this stud pattern is really nice and neutral, and I've had zero issues with it. It's got a decent amount of snapback. It's nothing crazy, um, but it does really, I think, support your foot well, and it does give you uh, everything that you're looking for from the Tiempo line in a package that's actually decently lightweight. So for me, this is one of the best boots on the market, in my opinion. It very much feels like the new CTR, which I was a huge fan of that silo when it existed back in the early 2010s and I do think that this is a boot that a lot of people will enjoy and of course in this gold special edition colorway uh, not still not sure when it actually releases but they are really beautiful and so if you can pick yourself up a pair I would definitely recommend it also go true to size 9 US fits my foot perfectly um, and it definitely is a boot that you probably will need to break in just a little bit if you've got medium to wider foot types especially here in this toe area it can be a little bit thin uh, especially with how flush it is down to the ground uh, but after a few hours of break in time it was totally fine and we'll get into a little bit more of that with the guava ice colorway in the un the one month review and we'll go from there so without further ado guys let's hop into the on feet portion of the video and we'll get a sense of what these look like on pitch with some socks and a whole kit and we'll go from there let's hop into it I am out here on the pitch with the absolutely beautiful gold Nike Tiempo Legend 10. Let's hop straight into the on feet portion. So thank you again to at Cornerman UK. Uh, provides some insane deals and also some insane pre-release boots uh, and, and just has some awesome stock overall. You guys can check out his Instagram page, as I mentioned before. I'll put all the links down in the description box. So very, very typical for uh, Tiempo Legend 10 with that Fly Touch Plus. You've got the uh, fly knit here through the middle there, and right away, 
boom. Yes, love that. So straight out of the box, especially for somebody like me who's got a little bit wider feet and especially wider in the toe box area, these are a little bit slim uh, in the toe box. They're pretty pointy, so that's something that I even have to get used to uh, as I start to wear it and play in them. They do break in pretty nicely, uh, although I will say there is, um, they're, all, it, they're almost too thin for my feet, uh, but they aren't. So I don't know if that makes sense, but they're like right on the cusp of if they were a little slimmer, they would definitely not fit very well. But these actually, the Tampa Legend 10 actually fits me really nicely. I've worn them now for games and stuff, and my oh my, does that gold colorway look good. So beautiful there. Let's get the second ones on, or I should say the right boot on, and the Tampa Legend 10. So a couple things that I've noticed during my testing of the original, that like pink colorway that you guys have seen the initial review of, there we go, boom, is one, is that these boots perform very, very well in both wet weather and dry weather conditions. That's something that I really appreciate about the Tiempo. Um, that's something that I've actually been interested by as I continue to wear the GX on more and more different types of AG pitches, is that the way that the GX grips the ball, that grip knit, is really, really aggressive sometimes on really dry and potentially older AG pitches. So for somebody who wants a little bit more of a seamless sensation on the ball and sticks wants to stick with a Nike boot, I would probably actually recommend the Tiempo 10. They have a they have a pretty similar shape. I would say they're not as wide as the GX, so they're not going to break in as wide as those boots. Um, that being said, they are really really nice out of the box, and they do fit super well. That Flytech Plus does wrap your foot really really nicely. It's got a pretty slim toe box, so similar to the GX, uh, you are going to be if you are somebody with a more voluminous toe area, I would sort of be careful with these football boots just because they do have a pretty low and pretty slim pointed toe box. You can see kind of how pointy those are even compared to the previous generation Tiempo Legend 9 Elite. But overall, these fit really, really nicely. They're snug. They're definitely a departure from what Tiempo Legend 9 was as far as fit and feel. I would say these are much more streamlined, much lighter feeling, whether they are in weight, that's sort of, I guess, uh, I, I believe these are actually a little bit lighter, but uh, they feel lighter just on feet and when you wear them. The sole plate especially has a really, really nice fit and feel to it, especially on ground that is more towards AG pitches. So uh, on pitches that aren't uh, super, super short and sort of in that middle, middle length on AG and then most of FG pitches, these are beautiful. They're really nice to wear, great amount of pivot power and no issues whatsoever as far as uh, slippage or I, f I don't feel any, like I'm risking my joints in for injuries as well. So there you go, there's a good look at the boots on uh, feet. These are really sensational looking in my opinion. I love the way this gold color kind of ombres into the black. I imagine with some black socks, these would be absolutely sick. Uh, and, and really from a fit and feel perspective, the Tiempo is nothing new from what I have. But if you haven't seen my initial review, these basically fit like a slightly slimmer, more slightly slimmer, less padded version of the previous generation and also uh, the CTR 360 Maestri 3. So in the remake, what they did was they built the a one-to-one -one remake with those and these fit similar, uh, very, very, very similar, but just a little bit thinner and less padding on the upper. But that, in my opinion, that Kangalite feels very, with especially with testing and stuff, it feels very similar to um, this Fly Touch Plus. So touch on the ball as well is super, super nice. It doesn't give you a very padded sensation. So if that's what you're looking for, I would recommend going with something like a Copa Pure or potentially one of the Asics or Mizuno boots as well. Uh, Asics being one of my favorite. Mizuno is a, a class brand as well. And I love the Morelia 2 made in Japan. That's been a regular in my rotation. Um, but touch on the ball is really, really nice. It feels very much like a CTR. It's kind of hard for me to get that out of my head because this is very much what a thinner version or a, a little bit slimmer version of a CTR feels like. Um, and one thing that I noticed that 
either has to do with it or, or doesn't. I can't really tell quite yet as far as testing goes, but those two little cutouts on the sole plate, I don't know if those are, I can't really tell if those are actually making a difference, but will I, what I will say is even on AG pitches, you sort of lose the ability to feel the studs under you, which is sensational. That is what you want in a football boot, especially when you have the appropriate amount of grip for the surface. So for a pitch like this that's AG, these feel beautiful. They really do a nice job of both digging into the ground, giving you enough grip on the, the pitch, but also not too much that you're feeling the studs. Puma Future Ultimate is the boot that comes to mind for that issue with studs that are just far too long to be on AG pitches, whereas these perform very, very well, both on grass and on firm ground pitches, at least so far in what I've uh, tested. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Tiempo Legend 10 Elite, in my opinion, is a huge win. I think it's a great product. The heel feels really good. Um, right out of the box, I get pinching right on the outside just because my foot is the widest in this area. And then I get a little bit of pinching as soon as I put my foot in right on the toe. Uh, but actually now the toe stuff has gone away completely and I'm starting to break these in. You can kind of see me wiggle my toes there, but just the outside is what takes my foot the longest to break in. And that's been the case with those original launch colorway um, Women's World Cup in that guava ice as well. So for me, this is an absolute smash hit from Nike. I know some people won't like them. They're a little bit controversial as far as materials go, but if you take them just at face value and sort of eliminate the rest of the noise, I would say that most people would slip into these, break them in, and just be so happy with the way that these perform on feet. Um, as I said before, I've worn these in games now, and they perform very, 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 very well. They are a regular in my rotation, and I cannot say enough good things about them, at least for my feet. So in my opinion, Nike, well done with this new Tiempo. I think it's a great version, especially if you're somebody who likes the shape of the Tiempo Legend 9 and also like the CTR series, these are gonna be a welcome sight for you. It's basically the new CTR. So hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys want more pre-release boots, let me know down in the comment section below. If you guys are interested in pre-release content, blog posts, photos of the new upcoming thumbnails, as well as your own suggestions for what boots to do next, you guys can subscribe to my Patreon down below. I'll leave it in the first link, uh, or the second link as well. And then all of Cornerman UK's uh, information will be in the first link in the description box below. I'll give you guys his Instagram tag and all that stuff. Um, again, as I said, he's got fantastic materials uh, as well as some amazing boots on sale. So go check his stuff out as well. As always, be awesome, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.